Well, hello and good afternoon. Welcome to Better Connecticut. I'm Scott Haney. And I'm Sarah Bishop Delaventura. It's so nice to have you. Thank so uh, you. for those of you who may not know Sarah Bishop Delaventura, we have become friendly because uh, she and her family own Bishop's Orchards. I do. Tell us a little bit about the business. Uh, it's a business that's been around for almost 150 years. It's amazing. It is. Yeah, it's really good. It is. And it's a family business. You're entrenched in the community. We are. And you know what? It's not easy to maintain a business these days, so I give you, you and your family a lot of credit. Thank you. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Yeah, don't. And new, uh, new ice cream is new. It is. That's all I eat. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't helped with the summer bathing suit weather, but, you know. <laughs> So right. tell us a little bit about your background, because I know you went to you started at Emerson, which is one of the great one of the great communication schools in the nation. I did. I did go to Emerson for a short period of time, and uh, ended up in graduated from Northeastern University. Stayed in Boston because I loved Boston. Right, right, right. So, uh, but you know, grew up and never thought I'd want to be back in the family business. And what were you gonna What, what were you gonna do? If I was you gonna were... be a teacher. You were gonna be a teacher. That lasted a semester, though. <laughs> <laughs> so. I... <laughs> No, no, that's good. It's I good. Made, I made changes. I taught C right. I taught CCD, uh, oh. catechism. And then one year, and I was like, I'm never going to become a teacher. No. The kids are lovely, but I, you have to have a special skill set in order to. I do give that. teachers a lot of credit. Oh my God, so they much credit. They have the hardest job. I mean, I love my girls, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. excited for school. And you have two. I yep. have two daughters. Yes, Grace and Abigail. And married too. I am married, yep, to my husband, John. Which is great, yep. so, and they're all watching today, so we want to, we appreciate that. All right, so we're getting to the headlines. Uh, I, I, I didn't really know that Miley Cyrus was married to Liam's, uh, Liam Hemsworth, but apparently they were married, and now what's going on? That's it. It's, they're divorced. That's it. Just like that. Seven it, months? Seven, it, it, seven months? Yeah, seven yeah. months. So uh, they split, they, and, you know, the rep said from people in a statement, ever-evolving, changing as partners and individuals. They have decided that this is what's best for them while they both focus on themselves and their careers. All right, but what's with her kissing another girl? She kissed a girl and she liked it. Yes, yes. a Jenner. A Brody, Jenner? Brody Jenner. The mother's daughter singer who married the actor Liam Hemsworth is currently vacationing in Lake Como with Brody Jenner's ex Caitlin Carter. Okay, so these two women are... Uh, yeah, they, they look quite cozy. So uh, the blonde babes were photographed getting cozy on Friday, packing on the PDA as they soaked up the sun and took in the country's breathtaking views. That uh, sounds pretty good to me. Yes. So, uh, well, they they uh, certainly know how to get a photo shot there. All right, <laughs> we're moving on to drunk Taylor, Taylor Swift. <sighs> now, we don't know if she was actually drunk or not, but from what it appears like, it appears that she was drunk. It looks like she was drunk. Yeah. That's, that's well, how I'd imagine I, I may look. Let's take a look at the, um, let's, let's take a look at the video. There she is. So you can see she's tossing oh. her hair. All it, over the place. Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty, uh, it looks pretty drunk. So she was she's celebrating her recent uh, victory with 10 nominations for the VMA Awards. And um, we are uh, just enjoying drunk. They said drunk Taylor Swift is a good Taylor Swift. But, you know, you very rarely get to see the side of her. No, you don't. She's always so innocent and sweet and, you know, good for her for having some fun. And speaking of drunk, did you hear about this flight attendant? I didn't. This is news to me. Yes. So the flight attendant is now facing charges after she showed up drunk to work. The whole thing was caught on camera. I feel so bad. I mean, I know everybody has a bad day, but a passenger shot this video on his cell phone. He says the flight attendant, Julianne March, well, didn't make the security announcement. She didn't make it through the flight. Uh, she appeared to pass out about 25 minutes from the flight from Chicago to Indiana. That passenger had to help her buckle up. Her seatbelt. Her seatbelt. Oh. So she wasn't the one in the aisle doing the seatbelt check. She was actually the one getting the seatbelt. <laughs> Which is not good. Oh, no, not totally, all. totally not good. Uh, Simone Biles, did you see this? Amazing. Uh, I, if in the world of figure skating, it would be a triple sow cow. I don't know what it is in the gymnast world. It's like, Jamie, what did she say it was? Oh, a double, uh, a triple double, a triple double. Let's take a look. This isn't it yet. This is her on the une uneven parallel bars. This is her dismount. Oh. oh. Wow, that's wow. amazing. So uh, that's just a little video. This is, let's just see if this is, that's not Jeez. it either, but she did pretty good there. That was the double twisting, double somersault. Oh, is this and it? here it comes. This is it. Do you believe? Incredible. I, I, can't, I can't even see it. It's just, ha it happens. It happens so fast. It happens so fast, you can't even see it. 
That is remarkable. God bless. She's getting ready for the 2020 Olympics, which, of course, are going to be in, uh, I think, Tokyo next year. Oh, let's go. Yeah. You want to go? Sure. I think that would be awesome. This is much fun. Uh, now, I don't know. What, did you hear about Serena Williams? I heard this morning. Now, it it's says she retired from the Rogers Cup finals. It mm -hmm. doesn't say that she retired permanently. But a lot of people are hearing retire and that, you know, she was in the middle of a match and uh, to this Bianca Andrus Andruscu, I, I, I'm probably getting it wrong, but she couldn't do it. She had back spasms and that was it. And that was it. She just quit in the middle of the, t in the, middle of the match. And um, the uh, Bianca won, but it says she retired, but everybody's saying she retired from this particular match. So we're not sure. Uh, if she's retiring permanently, but you know, 23 uh, titles to her name. God bless her. She's an incredible athlete, yes, she and is. she said her, you know, Bianca was just so incredibly nice. And uh, look at her. I, oh, I just feel so bad. So sad. She's one of my daughter's idols. Hey, seriously. She isn't, is. Isn't that amazing? God yep. bless her. So I'm sure we'll see her back Hopefully. playing tennis.